know she lives. Tanks back in as well. So, oh, let me shut her off. That's better. I can hear something now. Right, so tanks back in. All looking shiny. Um, didn't go in too badly. There was a couple of bolts at the top up there that I need to lift the cab up. Um, but to tip the cab is fairly simple. There's a, a lifting hook there. And there's four bolts under the cab, just underneath the intake out, so we can see it better in the back. Up here, there's four of these you take out, and then she pivots on the other side. Let me just show you that. You take this panel off, and then pull a couple of bolts through both sides of there and there. And again, there's four bolts, one under there, one at the front as well again. Take them four bolts out, and as long as those pins are in there, she'll tip. So yeah, after, when's it now? Four weeks, I think, three, four weeks. Um, tank seems to have sealed all right, but I've got a problem with the um, bung at the bottom. It's uh, got a bit of a weep on it. You'll see that in there, but it's wet. It must be dripping, dripping off the bottom. But so yeah, that's. You can see that anyway. Sides. But, yeah, so I've got another sender unit coming, so that's going in. Unfortunately, I need to get the old girl working and out of this barn to get the baler back in before winter. So yeah, it seems to be all right. But if we can get that bung sorted out. The bottom I have to tap it, get another bung back into there, and then she's uh, away. Hopefully, I'll wait for my package to come and get the sender unit back in there because the fuel gauge wasn't working. I'm just going to bring it down to the, the sender unit. So this afternoon I'll get the old girl out, get her filled up with fuel. I might not have to actually um, get her out and get a baler in back of here, and then we should all be good. Right, nice one. We'll catch you later. Cheers, Pete.